Hey, everybody. Welcome to the show. I am your host, Karina Calhoun. I am your expert life strategist. I am truly, truly excited. Today, I have on the show yet again another amazing human being who is impacting the world, and I'm so excited. Farah, tell us who you are and tell us where in the world you are right now. Hi, Karina. I'm happy to say that I am logging in from my beautiful city called Bangalore, south of India, and uh, uh, exciting to be on your show. Awesome. I love it, Farah. Thank you so much for tuning in all the way in India here. I am here in the United States. I love, absolutely love how the internet brings people so much closer together. You know, Farah, I was thinking um, when you said that how when I was in school, when I was in high school, the internet was not a thing. It had not been you know, put out there yet. And so when I was in high school, it was really, it was literally just getting started actually after I graduated. So now to be able to talk to someone in another country is absolutely amazing to see you face to face, to interact and to build these relationships are absolutely amazing and phenomenal. Farah, tell us what you have been up to these days. Well, I've been um, enjoying my time looking at how can I continue to build a legacy. So the next four years, five years, is I'm looking at what legacy I want to leave behind. And um, while I look towards that, um, what I'm also creating right now is uh, um, my business, which is really coaching women to be more courageous and to really reimagine their lives so a big part of my um current um yeah, the time that i'm spending is really looking at how can i uh, really support other women to um transform their lives and of course that's one part of it and there's another part which is really something that i've been doing for over 15 years which is uh, facilitation so so i have a balance of working with women as well as with organizations doing something that i'm truly passionate about. You know, Farah, this is truly my jam. I, I absolutely love that you're helping women to really be courageous in their purpose, their destiny, their passion. And, you know, and I tell people this all the time because I have actually had people ask me, Karina, how can you have someone on the show that kind of sort of or at, absolutely does the same exact thing that you do? And I tell people all the time, if me situated here in Richmond, Virginia, if every single woman in Richmond, Virginia came to me and said, Karina, I absolutely need your services right now today, I would fail. And the reason why I say that is because I cannot service all of those people. True. There's Absolutely. just no way. And so when we make it a point to come together just in this manner, the way you and I have to collaborate and make sure, because there may be people that listen to this show on a consistent basis, but I may not be the person for them, but you may be. You absolutely may be the person for them. So I want to encourage those of you that are listening. Listen, there's no craziness going on over here. If Farah is the person for you, please reach out to her <laughs> because we just want you to win. We really absolutely. just want you to win. That is it in a nutshell. And so Farah, I want to ask you, how is it that uh, you have really dialed in to wanting to leave a legacy yeah. and then begin to really uh, push that for other women. Because listen, we all have dreams. We all have desires. We all have hopes, but to really dial into it is another thing. So how have you been able to really do that? Tell us the process that you've gone through because I, I really believe this is gonna be fascinating. 
You know, firstly, I want to say that it's fascinating, as you say, that we are connected. And today we're living in this really, uh, in this world that's globally connected. So um, I think it's wonderful that we're having this conversation. And of course, many of us do. Um, we're, we have a purpose bigger than ourselves. Mm. And for me, for me, it was, you know, when I asked myself about my purpose and my why, it's really, it came from a space when I was supported in my journey as well. And uh, I've been through a series of life-changing experiences. And uh, I also started my life from scratch. And that required a lot of bravery. And, um, and I think when I look at what was the support that I had and how I was able to shift some of my beliefs at that point, um, I created the kind of life I want for myself. And so today I'm really acutely aware of what I want and what I don't want. And um, it's all about the decisions that I make in my life. And, and that is why it became all the more imperative for me to feel that I want to do this for others. So really about inspiring people to be brave and to live their dreams by showing them possibilities. Because I always say, stop dreaming the dream and start living it. Because it's so easy for us to stay in that, uh, but we have to dare as well. So mm. I, think, I think that's where it comes from that we all have choices, uh, Karina. And um, there's no limit to what we can achieve. And, but the, the secret is it's all inside of us. So yes. we can change, we can change anything, but we have to tap into it ourselves. That is so amazing. That is so amazing. You know, I was getting prepared for this episode today and I was putting on my makeup, doing my hair. And I just thought about it. I said, you know, a lot of times people pray for a certain situation a certain way uh, in their life, a certain occurrence. But then when that occurrence begins to happen, the problem then becomes because they're out of their comfort zone and into that new, and that path does not look like the proverbial yellow brick road, they stop mm. because it's, uncomfortable it's unfamiliar and they begin to revert back to the things that they were once in and you know going for your purpose is going to require you to really as you said dig deep one of the things that I was thinking about as I was just really thinking about all of this this morning was really the idea that Again, that yellow brick road, you know, the Wizard of Oz. When Dorothy was going down this yellow brick road, when she was following this path, there was the lion, there was the tin man, there were all of these things that were coming to show, listen, you've got to have courage, you've got to have um, a heart, you've got to persevere, you've got to have all of these things. However, when we're on our path, sometimes those things are not going to come out and be as evident. Sometimes we've got to dig deep in and pull those out. So what do you think about that when it comes to really being on that path of purpose? Because it takes intentionality. And I believe you have some wisdom to share with the, with the listeners to help them. Listen, I don't expect you to give the farm away. You know, don't give your your services away, but give us a couple of things that can really help while on this path to help us dig deep. Sure. I think I think I love that example that you gave. And I'm trying to visualize that, that, you know, while I was on the path and, you know, what are some things that were um ahead of me and things that were around me and was I actually willing to take that that help or to listen to that one voice and so I find that sometimes when we're on a path that we are either a, 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 as you said the successful path you know the path that's taking us towards our, our, our purpose then um, it's really important to know that um, 
you know, the moment I'm aligned to what I'm doing and I wake up every day and I think about it and it gives me energy, I know that I'm working towards, uh, you know, I'm aligned to it. So I find that uh, it's very easy also to be, on the other hand, I found myself on a path that had become very stale. So I want to give you that other perspective as well, that I was on a path for a while that was pretty stale. And I didn't realize that. And typically what is important at that point is to really tap into your, um, you know, how you're feeling and to your intuition about where you are and where you were heading in the first place. And I realized that I had really lost my plot at one point. And I took a lot of time to actually deal with that. And I find that uh, another analogy and another image similar to with Dorothy is like a swan. Now, when you see a swan walking on land, it walks very awkwardly. And the thing about uh, a swan is it's not going to beat itself up if it's going to uh, walk awkwardly. What it does is, it all it does is goes and finds its way to water. And I find that the best way in which when I was on that stale path and I realized that I was really, I had lost myself. I had completely forgotten, you know, where that journey, you know, I was going to take. And so, and there's a lot of personal things that can come in the way or other roller coasters. So I think uh, those are the times when it's so important to be in touch with your values. And uh, I think my value was really a topmost value was uh, of respect and self-reliance and being authentic. And I found that at that point, the reason I was on that stale path is because I had um, I had stopped speaking up for myself. I was not being true to myself. And, and I think when you are able to get that alignment, when you actually ask yourself, what, are, what, what do you really want? Um, you can actually take a pause at that point and choose the direction you want to go. And then you find your way to water. You can't, you might not do it alone. You might have uh, to take some support, some a great mentor or a coach, or even somebody, you know, you trust somebody you, you know who's done it. So I find that it's important to pay attention. Um, we can completely lose it. You know, we can just stay in that space, which is very comfortable and we're just afraid to take the next step. But that's where the growth happens, isn't it? It's where, you know, it's about stepping outside that and, so I think one thing I would say is uh, that has served me is the ability to look forward. So because of that, I've been able to deal with all my roller coasters. I'm, I constantly look ahead. I don't spend so much time looking at the back and spending time thinking about why it didn't work, et cetera. There's a lot of lesson there, but most of my attention is looking forward. And that's where um, that's where you can create that kind of you know, the future that you want to make. You know, I could, I could sit here and I could listen to you all day because <laughs> everything that you, that you're saying resonates with my soul simply because I know exactly what you mean. And this is something that I feel so absolutely um, passionate about that we all need to get this. It's so amazing. So I honor you. Farah, for the work that you're doing in this world to help women that have been like you and I, you know, we've walked this path. And one thing that I want to bring up, just kind of go back to that you talked about is this swan. Amazingly, how you really depicted the swan not looking its best when it's walking on land, you know, probably not the most graceful. True. I love this analogy, you know, because that's absolutely, it's just the path that it has to take. It's necessary, but mm -hmm. it's not where it ideally belongs, but it has to take that path. But then when you think about the swan in the water, ah, how graceful they are. Absolutely. You think about, even in the Olympics and different competitions and things like that, people try to imitate swans 
when they're in the water. They have these competitions. So think about how graceful when you're actually in your purpose. Oh my goodness, Farrah, you have opened up. This is <laughs> amazing. I love it. You triggered love it. that. You triggered that with the yellow brick road, actually. That's where it came from. Yeah. Wow. I love that. I love that. And so just think, yes, ladies, you may be waddling on a path that's not ideal, but it's necessary. And you don't necessarily look great doing it, but it is a necessary path to when you get to your place of gracefulness. Oh my goodness, I love this. This is why I love these fireside chats. I think you have something else to say because I can see it. Yes, yes. It's waiting to come out. So I was thinking about, you said, what are one or two things? That was one. And the other is, uh, so you know, you know, we can be on this path and we could say someday, someday I'm going to find that water, someday. But when does that someday come? And that's mm. what I want to say that I think it's important to turn your someday into day one today. Yes. Uh, because if I continue waiting like I did for some time, you know, I stayed stuck in a situation for a while. And today when I look back and I'm thinking that was a lot, um, a lot of time that I could have invested in really looking at what else I've, you know, I could be choosing to do. Um, so we all get into that, um, you know, we all experience those kind of uh, paralysis, you know, we stay in a situation or we get stuck in that hamster wheel. So I, I believe that it's important to um, really stop, stop thinking that someday I'm going to do it. Um, because who has seen that? I haven't seen someday. So I think that's when uh, I get a lot of energy. It's when I think about today matters. So today, this moment, this is it. And uh, I think I am tired of telling, like I have a beautiful 22 year old daughter and when she talks about stuff and I say, when have you, we haven't seen tomorrow, let's do it now. And so we have those kind of conversations. And I think that's the place that I get. And I think all of us can get the energy from how exciting it is to have that conversation of what we can create. Um, what can, you know, what, who, who can we meet? What kind of business that we want to get into? And we start dreaming about it, but we start thinking about how do I make that happen today and take that tiny step. So that's another thing that I find that has really served me, which is really uh, not waiting for that moment in the future. And, um, you know, that I'm going to do it then because I don't want to wait till then. I want to do it now. And I want to take that one tiny step because it's easy to think about what I want to create like this big, big mountain. Um, but I need to take that one step because it's the journey, right, uh, Karina? It's the journey yes. which matters. It's not the, the end. For me, it's that enjoying every moment. So yeah, that's the other thing I wanted to say someday. We haven't seen. I it. love it because when you think about it, we have we have Sunday, we have Monday, we have Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and we also have today. But yeah. within that time span, there is no someday. Yeah. Wow, I love this, Farah. Tell us how we can get in touch with you, and what to expect when we get in touch with you. Because I suspect this is something that, you know, we, we definitely need you uh, in our lives, definitely. <laughs> so tell us how we can get in touch with you. Karina, I'm very active on LinkedIn. So uh, anyone can find me on LinkedIn, it's Farah Ismail. And uh, of course, I they can find me on my website, which is interactconsulting.in. I'll share all the details with you. And uh, those are the spaces where I love to connect with um, anyone who wants to, um, you know, set up some time with me or just want to share, you know, what's happening in their life. And it's an exciting conversation because I would love to change someday to one day and inspire yes. people to reimagine their lives and um, create that kind of uh, impact they want to create now. I absolutely love this. 
Farah, I honor you. Thank you. Definitely honor you for the work you're doing in this space. And as you continue to go be great, you know, I, I definitely want to keep in touch with you because this is a conversation that I think you and I could possibly have all day long. So this is definitely part one <laughs> of a conversation. So I would love for you to come back to the show at some point just to check in and see how things are going as well as drop some more gems and jewels. Again, don't give the farm away, but, you know, let us know how we can continue to move forward in our purpose and our passion while being authentic. And I think that is the key to this. So any last words of wisdom that you would like to leave for the listeners? Absolutely. Uh, you know, when you spoke about while being authentic and vulnerable, I wanted to say that I have a, I have a gift for your listeners if they choose to, um, to take it. Uh, I wrote a, a book called Dare to Be You and five things that really make me unstoppable. And they, it's a very short read, but it also has some very interesting um, self-reflection exercises, some fun exercises as well, and a surprise in that. Uh, so if anybody wants to get that, I'll share the link with you. And uh, that would be fantastic. That's another way in which uh, we can continue speaking. I love it. I absolutely love it. And for those that are listening, you know, we love to have clickable links in the show notes. So we'll definitely make sure we have a link to the show notes in that to in the show notes to Farah's um, uh, surprise. For, well, I wouldn't say our gift. She will have a link to the gift in our show notes and uh, definitely be looking for that. Uh, this has just been so amazing. So, so absolutely amazing. So folks, this has been another great episode of Go Be Great with Coach Karina. And today we've had Farrah on the show and this has just been an extremely, extremely rich conversation. So I will see you all on the flip side. Bye folks. Thank you, Karina. Thank you. You're welcome.